Trump's statement pledging an orderly transition who was meant partly to prevent further resignations President Trump's dark of night statement vowing an orderly transition was designed in part to prevent a wave of resignations from the West Wing and broader administration. According to a person familiar with the matter, at least one person, who is believed to be considering resigning on Wednesday, is now planning to remain in the administration. National Security Advisor Robert O'Brien has told aides he now intends to remain in his post until Trump leaves office, though his plans could still change depending on how Trump approaches the day. He made his decision before Trump released the statement. O'Brien was persuaded to stay by other senior staffers who expressed concern about the national security implications of a vacant post in the final days of the administration. The statement from the president, released throughout his deputy chief of staff Dan Scavino's Twitter account at 3.50 a.m. Eastern Time, said, There will be an orderly transition on January 20 even though he disagreed with the outcome of the election. Trump agreed to the statement after being advised of the dismay and disgust among many of his aides though the person familiar said it was not the sole reason for its release. It also came after reports that early discussions were underway about evoking the 25th Amendment and restarting impeachment proceedings. It was meant as a signal from Trump that the next 13 days will proceed without incident. But it came months after Joe Biden won the election and hours after Trump urged his supporters to protest at the Capitol. Even among his team and close allies it is viewed as coming far too late and offering far too little condemnation for what happened at the Capitol building. Congress affirmed Biden's win overnight. Here's what you need to know this morning. Just after Congress met yesterday for a joint session to certify Joe Biden's electoral college win, pro-Trump rioters stormed the U.S. Capitol, prompting lawmakers to evacuate the building. The Capitol was secured later that evening, and Congress returned to resume the certification process, with proceedings stretching into the early hours of this morning. Biden's win certified. Congress formally affirmed Biden's 2020 victory just before 4 a.m. Eastern Time. The House and Senate easily defeated Republican objections against the votes sent by two states, Arizona and Pennsylvania. Trump pledges an orderly transfer of power. President Trump posted a statement to his Facebook page following Congress's certification saying, Even though I totally disagree with the outcome of the election, and the facts bear me out. Nevertheless there will be an orderly transition. Some White House officials resigned, several White House staffers have resigned. Including Trump's Deputy National Security Advisor Matt Pottinger and Stephanie Grisham, Chief of Staff to First Lady Melania Trump and more are reportedly considering resignation following the violent riots. Some in the GOP began considering removing Trump, in addition to expressing obvious horror and anger. A growing number of Republican leaders and cabinet officials have told CNN they believe Trump should be removed from office before Biden's January 20 inauguration even if it means invoking the 25th Amendment or disqualifying him from ever holding office again. Russian Foreign Ministry reacts to dramatic moment of violence in Washington from CNN's Mary Ilyushna in its first comments on the chaotic events at the U.S. Capitol on Wednesday. The Russian Foreign Ministry said it wishes the friendly people of America to go through this dramatic moment in their own history with dignity. A spokesperson for the ministry criticized the U.S. election system, calling it archaic, and claimed it created opportunities for violations. At the same time, we once again point to the fact that the electoral system in the United States is archaic. It does not meet modern democratic standards creating opportunities for numerous violations and the American media have become an instrument of political struggle, spokesperson for the ministry. Maria Zaharova, said as quoted by Ria Novosti. This largely caused the split in society that can be now observed in the United States, she added. Reminder. Elections in Russia have been long criticized for multiple violations, from ballot stuffing to lack of real competition, according to both foreign and domestic observing organizations.
The Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe OSCE, said that 2018 Russian presidential elections have been characterized by restrictions on fundamental freedoms and lack of genuine competition.